we're in crazy rain. I just want to give you guys a taste of what Florida can do to you. I got you. Did she kick you out of the house? Come on, man. They actually love it. And look, Nostradamus is actually sleeping underwater. See, he's okay. But there are others that I do worry about. Uh-oh. Let's see what's going on over here. Where did they float, these guys? Where are you going? Oh, man. I thought I'd just show you guys what I got to deal with down here in Florida. We got... We went from dry season to rainy season right away. It looks like the Amboins love it. These turtles love moving around in the rain, but my goodness, I gotta show you what's been going on. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's shout out goes to new supporter, Zachary Smith. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. It has been a deluge all day long. I was out with the family during the day. Oh man, all this soil is soft. Yikes, I gotta get off of it. Um, I've been out with the family all day, came home. I knew it was raining. Uh, so I came home to start checking everybody. And in fact, this is the first time I made it to the front because I had some issues that had to be dealt with in the backyard. But uh, let's go for a walk, check it. And we're gonna check everybody here. These guys do okay. I've got all kinds of drainage running through the house. So if any water did fall this way, it would drain out the side. I've also got drainage that runs out into the garage. But you can see this is overflowing. Here's another Amboin right there in the water. These guys got fed earlier. Uh, it's been a pretty steady stream of water all day long. Um, and we're supposed to get rain all week long here in South Florida well now we needed it but we're getting it all at once which is kind of nuts now I'm not really worried about the Galops and Aldabra as you can see this area of the house doesn't flood terribly it's higher ground and they actually love it they come in here and soak and look Nostradamus is actually sleeping underwater which is so funny but there's Darwin hey sweetheart but well, you can see let's see up oh, he's poking his head up see he's okay just normal he's having a little bath hey there Nas. now i love coming out here in the in the rain actually i love to see how the animals behave uh in this kind of environment in this kind of weather and some of them do it really well but there are others that i worry about most importantly my leopard tortoises and the leprechauns uh the sulcatas are in a drier area they're all in their house they're fine they're a bit of a tougher tortoise even though they come from a drier area but it's the leopard tortoises that I do worry about. Uh, we're gonna go over there, I'm gonna show you what had happened and what I had to do really quick. Um, well, no time to grab the camera and show you as it was happening, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. I love doing these videos to show you just how much work has to go into managing this area. Here's the temporary enclosure for my radiated tortoise because I had to do some work uh, in their enclosure and I'm growing the grass back so it'll be about another month before these guys come back but check them out where are they these guys are smart they kind of go under the here we go here's one now they go under the palmetto in the rain and I really don't have issues with these guys in the rain as well um, they're smart they move out of it and it doesn't bother them as well uh, so I apologize for my I apologize for the quality of this video because we're in crazy rain I just want to give you guys a taste of what Florida can do to you. Not even a hurricane. This is just a pretty hardcore Florida storm, a little thunderstorm. And I got to tell you, I'm happy because you're going to see why in a little bit. Um, here are the elongated tortoises. Don't mind it at all. These guys get active in rain. Uh-oh. Let's see what's going on over here. Nope, he's fine. I thought this elongated might have been flipped over. But he's not. He's good. No worries. Uh, lots of mangoes falling down for these guys now, which is really cool. The cherry heads have no issues. Okay. These guys, I'm not worried about this enclosure flooding out so bad. The rhinoceros iguana's enclosure is lifted off the ground, so this will definitely not flood. Uh, there's, uh, it's about a foot off the, the ground also here. And then, oh, look at who's out. Let's go get him. It's Guapo. He's still laying outside. I don't know why. So nuts. 
Let's go see what Guap's is doing. Of course, uh, Pinky's fine. She's up off the ground. But uh, I did get the leopards and leprechauns. Those leopards, the South African leopards, they're in here. But I got to show you what happened in there. It's kind of nuts. But first, I want to make sure we get Guapo out of the rain. I just don't want him to be uh, in the rain. These guys are fine. They're up high. They've got a little cover. I'm not worried about them. I just don't want Guap to be completely um, saturated all night long. Now, the weather uh, temperature, rather, is fine. So the temps aren't bad. Can't even see my latches. Look at how much water we're in. Isn't that nuts? Uh, and I've, I'm also not worried about <laughs> an Asian water monitor in the rain. In fact, he's probably loving it. Uh, if I know him, though, he's most likely in his box, which is up here. Yep, there he is. Slinky's right there. No worries for the slink, man. The Chinese box turtles can swim well. Here's where they are. This is flooding a bit. Our snakes are secure. But why are you out, Guapo? This is not a time to be basking, my good buddy. Come on, man. Come on. Come here. Oh, I got you, pal. I got you. Did she kick you out of the house? Come on, man. Get in there. I know Lola's in there. I'll just go ahead and shut this. I won't latch it so they can push open tomorrow morning. Ah, just clear you guys off a little bit. Um, now, as I was saying, still some dry ground, some high ground, but these Chinese box turtles, they love the rain as well. No issues, they can swim. A lot of earthworms are gonna pop up. A lot of earthworms are gonna pop up, and I guarantee you, these guys are gonna chow down. Look at this activity. Lots of activity in there. Nice. All right. Kind of getting dark, so I want to I want to get you guys schooled on this. Man, it's it's never a dull moment, huh? I had to break out the circular saw, make a quick barrier, and uh, get these leprechauns and leopard tortoises in out of the rain. It's just been raining too much. I don't want to take any chances with those guys getting sick. If you know what I mean because they are from a dry spot grasslands and such even though it does rain i don't know if the rains are this intense here so uh yeah here we go gonna keep moving along and let me show you what happened in here this is pretty mental so i got i got the leopards in all right i got the lights on for them so they can warm up because it's been a little cooler than they like so the snow leopards are in and then, it's hard to see guys, I apologize, but here are the leprechauns. I had to build a barrier right there. The leprechauns and the other guys are in, but then I noticed what's going on, water was pouring through here because in the deluge, uh, this barrier acted like a dam. So I had to dig a hole under it and the water's now able to pass through. But even though I did that, this one was acting like a dam and there were, there were little, Little uh, redfoot tortoises bopping around. Look, look at this, they float, these guys. Where are you going? Now, I'm not, this, this is definitely not deep enough to where these guys, I'm worried about drowning. But what I was mostly worried about was if the water raised up over this, you know, that would have been a problem. You can see the water's coming up, but watch when I move some of this mulch. So I'm gonna have to be kind of on the case for a little while here tonight. Um, it's probably gonna rain all night. I'm gonna have a, a long night. But here's the good news. If you guys been following the channel, you know we've been in the dry season, right? Let me show you in just maybe a half a day how full the gator pond is. Look at that. This thing was a quarter full. There was beach. You could walk around. The kids walk on these beams. I set these beams up as an obstacle course. That one's not long enough. Um, and my gosh, the kids could just kind of play around in here. We had the fly rivers, we have the fly rivers, and we also have the, the Badiger in here. Uh, the Badiger of Finnis from the Bronx Zoo. And my goodness, man, these guys are gonna be happy because it is raining. Uh, I'm happy because so much for the well, we don't need to struggle with that well any longer, but you can see all this water is just pouring into that pond. So that's what's gonna happen. Now, 
we're in a low spot and we've got canals all around us in the river district here. They open and shut the, uh, the dams, the locks, and they can actually let water out. Uh, it's part of the management. It's also part of the reason why South Florida is livable, but it's also the reason why we've altered the flow of water here. And in fact, because of all our coastal building and such, we've actually altered uh, the way the water flows and it's actually not as efficient. Uh, it's better for the ecosystem, as you can imagine, for it to flow the way nature intended. But hey man, I'm part of the problem. I live here. <laughs> My goodness. Everyone wants to live in South Florida. Well, not everyone, but you know what I mean. Us reptile people love it. Here is, of course, Laggy. Hey, Laggy Lou. Lagatha. That's her blind eye. Oh, no, that's her good eye. But there she is. She's just hanging out right here. She's enjoying the sound of the water. It is getting dark fast. All right. What a cool rainstorm. I kind of like this. I get to wear my poncho. Although, I gotta be honest, I'm soaked. I don't know how good this poncho is. I am soaked. I got rain flowing into my boots. Uh, I am excited because I wore this hat specifically because I'm gonna reshape it. <laughs> so now that it's all wet, I can kind of reshape it, let it dry out, and I'll have a new shape. So that's kind of cool. But again, guys, just look at all this water. Kind of a crazy, crazy situation. So you gotta know what to do in these situations with your animals make sure that they're okay i didn't want to have any tortoises slipping over that barrier uh but look out man guys just look from a just literally on friday this thing was almost dry i'm using the well to to keep water in it for the tortoises and now cranny season has begun and check this i posted a video of sophia and leo jumping from the beach to the island well Another day, and this pond is going to be back up to the rim, man. So, uh, just part of the cool cycles and extremes in weather we have in South Florida. It is definitely an extreme place to live. I love it, though. Who's this? Oh, hey, what's up? Good looking. Oh, I'm sorry to scare you. It's a bit of a startle. So, there you have it, everyone. I just wanted to do a quick tour, show you what goes on in this weather. Let me show you guys the rec pond before I leave. The good thing about this pond is, as you can see, I'm climbing up to the recreation pond level. So the water here in this pond, there's, oh, there's Colin. He's kind of hanging out. I'll give you a peek at Colin. Got to see reptiles in a reptile channel. There's Colin looking good. Peter's probably inside the box. So Colin likes to hang out right there. But the water in the rec pond, folks, Hold on, I gotta, you gotta bear with me. There we go, latch it up. Uh, the water here, it pretty much fills up, goes over the waterfall, and if we go back to our leper, excuse me, our red foot enclosure, make sure you guys are squeegee clean. The water fills up their reservoir, overflows, and then of course it moves back, it goes back here. And when all is not, when all is well, it'll flow out into the gator pond. So you know what I'm going to do, folks? I'm going to put a drain here, dig a trench, and run some corrugated tubing underneath this barrier and right on into that. So wouldn't you know it? I got more work to do. But not tonight. I think we're going to be all right this evening. I love this weather. Don't you guys love it? Man, it's a nice warm rain. All the plants are getting watered. I'm figuring out new ways to keep all my animals safe and secure. But it is kind of beautiful. I don't mind. I don't mind getting wet and having a good time, everyone. Hey, look. A little iguana's tail just hanging out there. Oh, uh, looks like their food's been a little inundated. We'll get rid of that. Turn this into fertilizer. Bam. All right. Whew. All right, everybody. There you have it. Uh, another rainy day. For those of you who have never seen my camp in the rain, here it is. Good times. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. I got a lot of more work to do, buttoning things down. Kind of like it, me versus the elements. Hope you guys are safe wherever you are, and I'll see you all real soon on another episode here. Who knows what's gonna happen? I don't even know, but uh, it's a good time. I'm glad I came home when I did, huh?
All right, everybody, thank you so much. Be safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn those notifications on. Gotta go.